sound linked filters. Today we make three. This one, this is and those two. To get started, we use just a blank sharing experience. So first thing you want to do, click the microphone over here on the left, change your preview to live microphone preview. Then right click the mic, create patch. So what you'd usually do is go analyzer, type analyzer, and then it should say a little thing at the bottom, unsupported by Facebook, edit the platforms. Click the edit the platforms little thing and untick Facebook. It's not coming up on my screen, but then do it again. Analyzer. And you need to click this top thing to a speaker. So you create the speaker here just there and then click this little audio patch error connect them up and then, and then if, you if you don't, don't have headphones, headphones you should be hearing a little, little echo so, so what, what I, do, I do i just turn this down but when you do your testing on a device you need to turn this up before you send it to the device so this is the base of the sound filters um you could save this as a little template to save you doing those few steps again um, for now, I'm going to go to a little, uh, little explainer project just to show how this patch is working. Just how all these bands line up to the audio. So this is a little template I made. Um, uh, it's just a free template. I'll put the link in the description. Um, it's more just a visual way to show how this analyzer is working. It's so th it gives you eight bands of zero to one, and they are the volumes of each frequency of sound. So the low ones are down the end here. You can see when I'm talking, um, the, some middle ones are whistling. Uh, shh. And at the top is the sss, sss, hissing sound. Um, so I would recommend playing in this template a bit just to understand how, how it's all working, you know. Um, also a thing to notice is that some sounds are just naturally louder than others. And when you talk, it's only about half the volume. So we'll need to up the volume a bit artificially later. So first I'll show you a lazy way using a block I made for the face lights. Uh, you can get it in the description, free. Um, so when you have the block you pretty much just instantiate and boom you have the lights on your face. It also darkens the background so you can see them more and it gives you these three things to control how high the lights are and you can change the colors as well. So to link them to the sound you literally just I'll just do one for an example. So click this little patch arrow. And then because it's between 0 and 100, you need to multiply one of the bands by 100. So we'll do band 1, which is the talking volume, talking frequency, sorry. Multiply by 100. And then link that up. And then there it is. When I talk, it comes up. So then you would just repeat that for these three for the lazy way so now i'm going to do the manual way from here i uh, will just start from the audio analyzer basic setup that we did at the start so first thing you want to do is you want to add a face tracker and then on while the face tracker is t selected do a texture extraction and then add to the face tracker a face mesh untick the eyes and the mouth then add a material, go into the material and make the texture the face track texture. So you'll see your little face on there. Um, also change the blend mode to screen which will get rid of, it will make everything that's black into invisible. There you go. Um, under the face tracker add a spotlight. So you can see a spotlight on your face. So to make this a bit more uh, visible, we can change the color of it. So about there. And also disable the default lights that Spark adds. So ambient light and directional light, just turn them off. There we go. Um, so another, the last thing we can do to make this more visible is uh, add like a darkener. Just a big rectangle that are uh, makes it more bright 
So under focal distance, add a canvas. Under the canvas, add a rectangle. And then make it full width, full height. Add a material. Change it to flat and the color to black. Then advanced render options. Untick both of these. So because it is at the bottom of this thing, you need to change it to above the face tracker so that it will be behind it. Um, also go back into the rectangle material and change the opacity to I go about 50, but you can choose whatever. Sweet. So now that spotlight's looking, uh, looking pretty visible. Put it somewhere cool where you want it to shine. Actually do about there. Um, so now we want to link the magic. We want to add the, the audio analyzer value to link to the intensity here. So first just click this little arrow. And because it's from 0 to 100 and this analyzer only gives 0 to 1, we want to multiply this by 100. So multiply 100. Oops. And link that to here. And now when I talk, <laughs> it's all linked up. So from here, it's just a matter of repeating those steps. So you can control D to copy these spotlights, change their colors and their positions, and link them back up. So I'm just going to fast forward and then I'll explain it later. So this is what it should look like when you've got three, three of the lights linked up. So what I linked was uh, band one, band three, and band eight. So band one is like talking level, band three is like a whistle, and band eight is the hiss noise. Uh, from here, what we want to do is we want to add the panels in to make them look like the, the light sources. The only thing I've done so far is I've imported this texture down here. Um, you can see it, what it looks like there. I'll put a link to the description in the description to this as well. Um, so from here, a little shortcut you can do to get it attached to your face is you can right click, actions, position on face, any of these, and then it will put some stuff down in the patch editor. So just move it a little bit, press delete. Then what that has done, it has created a plane attached to the face the same ratio as the texture that you had so then all that's left to do is go into the plane into the material change it to flat and change the blend mode to screen and there you go so we'll position it so we'll do the teal one first um then we just want to connect the opacity of this material to the sound and because there's no patch error for opacity we have to import um, a patch from the AR library down here so click AR library in the search bar type opacity and it's the first one that comes up in patch assets so imports then just drag this about somewhere near the top all this stuff and drag the band one to the opacity then go back to your plane back to the material and click this arrow next to the texture then join the end of the opacity to the texture and it's gone white because you need to select which texture it is in this opacity patch and it'll be here and there you go so we just need to change this color up here and the sounds linked so then just repeat this opacity patch thing with two other panels so another shortcut you can take is if you while the plane is selected control c control v it will make another plane but it will also make another material which is what we need so then con press control v again so we have three planes and three separate materials so yeah so did you just have to click into the material and Click this texture thing again for both of them. 
So from there, it's just positioning, positioning, rotating, um, and linking these, linking your new textures up down here to, to um, a couple more of these opacity things. So I'll just fast forward to do my, uh, to do all my positioning and stuff, and we'll talk about it later. So this is what it should look like after you've linked three of the panels. And you'll notice that some don't really show up like this. So what you can do is you can multiply the value that comes out here to artificially increase the volume. So for example, this is for the spotlight, the orange spotlight. Instead of multiplying by 100, you can double that. So 200. So it's more bright. So we'll do, let's just try 200 for all of them. So yep, let's, let's say increase that. Um, and then you can do the same for the opacity values. So just from here, add a multiply. Output it there and multiply by two. It's, so that was for the, you can see that now this, this panel was a lot brighter. So do the same for these other two. Paste that. So yeah, now it's a lot more visible. You can also um, increase your uh, the darkener thing a bit more to make it more visible. So then the only thing left was I at the start I created the text that goes within uh, each of the panels. Um, the it's pretty much exactly the same. So we have this. The thing going into opacity, the band one into into an opacity patch, which is the material on the text. So first add some text to the face tracker. 3D text. Uh, go into the material, change it to flat and screen. We'll do teal first. Uh, then set this advanced render options to tick, untick both of these. Position it so it looks like it's in the panel. And then um, from here, it's just the material link. So go back into the material and click this texture thing. And copy, paste, control C, control V, the opacity, link it up, and the op the band one to opacity again. Actually, we'll go from this multiply to the opacity. And the only difference is you have to add a value patch, change it to color, and link that to your to this texture, and then change it to your teal. And voila, <laughs> all linked up. So you just repeat the same steps for more text. So you can do the same trick, the control C, control V once the text is selected and it will make you some new materials down here that you can link the texture to to create more of the opacity patches. So this is the finished one that I prepared earlier at the start of the video. Um, that's pretty much it for the first filter. I hope you get a bit of insight into the analyzer, how it works so far. Um, there's so much possibilities with this, like for example, we're only using in this filter three of the bands. Um, so you can literally link up all eight. Uh, I would say for this exact filter, the limitation is the light sources. Zero. You can only have a max of five light sources in Spark. And this is a more uh, fleshed out filter that I made for a competition. Uh, that's the end of this 
filter tutorial uh, for the next one I'll split it to another video we'll make that filter over there and voila thanks heaps see you soon